Hello everyone, this is Elliot Mainzer, President and CEO of the California Independent System Operator, with an update on grid conditions for Thursday, September 8th. As we near the end of this record-setting heat wave, my message for today is one of tremendous gratitude for the invaluable assistance we've received over this past week. Californians have shown their tremendous capacity to come together under difficult circumstances, and their actions have made a major difference this past week. I'd also like to acknowledge CAL FIRE and all the other firefighting agencies for their incredible work, as well as the utility employees protecting our critical energy infrastructure, such as distribution lines and substations. Along with many other agencies from across California, they have all been key in our ability to maintain the overall reliability of the grid. I'd also like to thank our many partners from across the Western United States who've provided valuable energy assistance as we've navigated record-setting heat and electricity demand. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge the men and women staffing the ISO's control center and all the other ISO employees supporting them. Under tremendous stress and tension, working long hours without much downtime, they've done an outstanding job making sure there was energy on the system where and when Californians needed it most. They are professionals in the finest sense of the word. Unfortunately, we have not come out the other side of this prolonged heat event just yet. Triple digit temperatures are still prevalent throughout much of the state. At the same time, we also expect our solar capacity to be somewhat diminished from the impacts of Hurricane K moving up the Baja coast towards Southern California and from fire smoke. The hurricane is expected to produce rain and strong easterly winds, increasing the fire risk for areas of Southern California. At this time, Southern California Edison is anticipating public safety power shutoffs in some of its service territory on Friday as a result of those winds. Yesterday's system-wide load was 50,184 megawatts and that made conditions tight. For now, our forecast for this evening is at 51,317 megawatts. So we're looking at another challenging day today and tomorrow before we really start to cool down this weekend. That means we again need people to reduce their electricity demand as much as possible today from 3 to 10 p.m. That longer than usual period when reductions are needed is because we expect to have less solar available and our operators are hoping to get out ahead of that challenge. So please everyone, hang in with us a little while longer. Pre-cool your homes before the flex alert takes effect at 3 p.m. today and then raise your thermostats to 78 degrees or higher if your health permits. Avoid using major appliances and turn off all unnecessary lights during the flex alert. We are almost through this. Things look better for tomorrow, but even then, we'll have to stay ever vigilant as there are a large number of fires burning in California that can affect transmission lines. Thank you again for all your help, and we'll continue to keep you posted.